Hi, it's Matt from Not Enough Tech. What do you mean you never heard of me? Hi guys, this is an inexpensive washing machine. It's one of those that you could actually fit in that cubby. And I've made it smart. You can watch this in this video. And one of the first very comments that you posted of it, yeah, but you could do that with a vibration sensor, right? Challenge accepted. But since I've already covered washing machines, I need a new challenge. So how about the dishwasher? Why? Well, I hate doing this. And a couple of you actually asked me about doing dishwasher, so it might be a good idea. But there is one problem. I don't have a dishwasher. Have you got a dishwasher for me? It's Matt from Not Enough Tech. No, not for the review. No one's going to watch this. Yeah, for free. Okay, I'll meet you at the door. Oh, okay. It's a tabletop one because uh, none of the dishwasher is going to actually fit in there. So uh, can someone just do this for me, please? And there is a love letter from Comfy. Hi, friend. We really appreciate your purchase. You're very welcome. And adopt what? And adoption? I didn't sign up for this. No one mentioned any adoption for me. Ah, oh, we believe the products you bought from us will surely be the highlights at your home. We'll see about that. Okay, that's the only unboxing they're gonna get. Oh, sounds nice. I love doing this. I reckon that's gonna be big enough for me, so you can see my usual load of the dishwashing. And yeah, it's, I guess it's smaller than I was expecting uh, on the outside, but it's actually quite big in the inside. I don't know, we shall see. And there, there is comfy tabletop dishwasher. It comes even with instructions how to fill this basket uh, so you could take the advantage of it. There is a power cable. Obviously there is a main water inlet, which is optional. And there is a pipe provided so you can connect it to the main water supply, but you can also fill it through the top using the tank, internal tank, which has six liters capacity. And there is obviously wastewater, which you can either wire up or place it in a sink. But there are still two problems that I have to deal with. First, I don't have a software that's gonna operate this switch and detect the vibration and let me know when the dishwasher is finished. And the second one, I've run out of dirty dishes, so I'll have to wait until meal time to get this started. While the dishwasher might not be big enough to collect the plates from a Sunday roast for two, it's perfectly suitable to collect all the coffee mugs and plates from lunches throughout the day, so you could start the dishwashing in the evening. It isn't loud or anything, but you're definitely gonna hear it operating. And now the results. Actually, the dishes are pretty clean. Even my coffee mug, it's cleaner than usual, despite having permanent stains inside and cutlery surprisingly ready to be used. And glasses. It's been a while since I had the glass so clean and clear. But you're not here to wash the dishwasher in action. You want to learn how to make it smarter using a vibration sensor. And if you paid attention, you'll notice that this particular dishwasher will end the cycle with, well, opening its door. Well, I could use that with the vibration sensor to detect it when the dishwasher is ready. I'm not going to for a couple of reasons. First reason, this action can be specific to the dish dishwasher. It might not be specific to yours, making it already unreliable. Now, obviously there is another reason. You are likely to load the dishwasher and open and close the door throughout the day, providing false positives uh, to trigger our notification system. So unless I'm going to come up with additional trigger, this is not the best way. Also not sure what kind of appliances my audience was using, but this dishwasher during the operation doesn't really vibrate and I can't detect vibration with the sensor alone. So that idea is through the window. Lastly, I could also experiment with a contact sensor. However, uh, we are back to problem one. Uh, opening and closing the door multiple times throughout the day would trigger false positives, so you would need additional trigger. 
And let's face it, guys, if you need to remember to arm the notification, well, it's probably not worth it. I mean, all the programs are timed, so you might as well ask Alexa to set a timer and you're gonna get a notification either on your phone or on an Alexa device. Thankfully, we can revert back to my original plan using a power meter. In my DIY smart washing machine, I simply used a relay with a power meter and spliced it in an extension lead. That way I could monitor when the appliance is using power and use that as an automatic trigger. All I had to do at this point is just to make sure that everything is compatible. So on my first run, I was carefully watching the power consumption throughout the cycle. This is where I discovered that there is a small problem. Comfy dishwasher doesn't actually have a proper power off situation. When you press the button to turn off the display, the appliance is still consuming one watt of power. Well, so it's not a true power off scenario. This meant that I had to be a little bit more creative in my project and introduce a new variable. It would check whether the device or appliance, whether it's a dishwasher, tumble dryer or washing machine, has a true power off state. That way, I could still use the same profile with minor tweaks at the expense of not having nagging option. Nagging notifications would be issued every five minutes, just to remind you to take out the washing, and it would run until the washing machine would be turned off, since this is not possible unless you disconnect uh, the comfy dishwasher from the power mains, uh, well, then it's a sacrifice I had to make. With the project updated, all you had to do is switch that variable to a true, and you'll be able to use it with appliances that don't have a true uh, power off situation mode. And the rest remains the same. You'll still get Android notifications, you'll get information from your Google Home or Alexa notifications. It's up to you how you want to set it up. I hope I've illustrated enough reasons not to go with a vibration sensor. It's messy, it's unreliable, and you're gonna have so much better results using a power meter. Trust me on that. So if you're tempted in a project or in having a comfy dishwasher machine, then take a look at the description of this video. You're gonna find the links there to our article and to the dishwasher itself. Last thing, I'd like to thank Comfy for sending me a dishwasher so I could experiment on it. And it turns out to be quite handy and I've been using it ever since. So guys, if you want to know what's gonna happen next, well, I do not have a posting schedule. You know how it works and how to use the notifications to your advantage, but I would strongly recommend you to follow me also on social media. These are listed there below for you and take advantage of that as this is the best way to get in touch with me if you wanna talk or discuss any projects. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.